Hey guys, Harriset here. Today I'm going to be going over some Star Wars, the beta testing at the moment. And I'm just going to do a quick run through of the opening and starting of the game as well as the first few quests in there. Uh, the first thing I'd like to point out is the, the server selection. I think the setup is actually quite nice, especially in beta at the moment. Uh, it tells you exactly how many minutes you have to wait before you join the server. Uh, just I assume this will be a lot less when it's actually released but for now I have played a uh, one character for quite a while but that server is full so I'm going to create a new one. This is a problem every 20 or 30 seconds it actually seems like it's freezing to update the numbers so I'm just going to wait for that. Okay anyway I'm going to kick this off and I'm going to jump into one of these PvE servers or whatever just to just to give you a, a lowdown of, uh, of the character creation screen uh, as well as the open. Now I'm going to go with the Jedi Knight just to show it, I have a feeling that's going to be one of the most popular, that and I don't want to ruin the game for myself because I'm going to be playing as, as the Empire with all, with all of my friends so I might as well show a little bit of this. Now I will cut out as many spoilers as possible, I'll probably skip, skip a few scenes, uh, just edit them out so it's up to you generally if you want me to add in stuff like this later. So I'm going to choose a um, Jedi this time and we'll go with just the standard Jedi Knight. I'm just going to have a quick showcase of the actual choice or character choices you have. You have your human, Moralaka, the Twi'lek, Zaprik, and the Mirrorlan, the Mirrorlan. So we'll just go with a human. Now this is something I did find quite, uh, quite amusing. Both a duty and an honor. The body type for the human uh, is actually a little bit off, so you can choose between the bodies, between large, large, larger, and of course, you can make yourself a proper fatty. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go back because I'm gonna go this time. I've dedicated my life to serve others. And I'll just do this. Now, this is a, you can you can probably hear this sound effect. Now, this is what it sounds like. Now, I'm going to zoom out or zoom in. Now, you can hear that clicking, but it actually doesn't make a difference. It, it, there's only two settings. Now, I don't know if this is just part of the beta or not, but it would be nice to zoom out just a little bit, just to, you know, hold it at this position. Anyway, moving on, body type. Can you make, make it really fat? No, you can't. I think... It's actually well. All right, she she has bigger hips. That's that's about it. They try not to insult the women as much. So yeah, we'll just do a standard um, eye color. Let's see what eyes. Oh, where's blue hair? Leia hairstyles. Lovely. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so we're back into game now. Uh, I'm just going to go through a couple of the interface options. So you have your standard 1 to, to 0 and obviously the equals and bit sign. These are, these doors are generally instances kind of thing. As you see that guy just ran in there and disappeared. Pretty much you can only access them when you have access to your story point in the game. It's a pretty, pretty nice feature actually. I quite enjoy it because you're not directly interrupted. But at the same time, it can be a little bit of an annoyance now if you're playing with friends, doing different classes and different characters. Because uh, you have to make sure that they're either on the same quest or you have to accept them through the story or something along those lines. Anyway, the first mission I did pick up was just to go to the speeder, pretty much. Now, graphically, this game is pretty identical to WoW. It's got it's very smooth and very tight. There's, there's a lot of really good animations and movements in the game. It feels smooth, which which I think is a good aspect. Um, but you can see a difference now. Considering I was just recently playing Skyrim, I keep trying to sprint with my character and it's not happening. Oh, MMOs. Why won't you allow me to sprint? This, this is an next little thing that I'm just hoping is part of beta. It's a, it's a minor, minor issue, but you can get into the speeder here, just the, your first travel, and and the landing is, is quite unique. It has to be the most unique I, I've seen, so 
There we go. Here's our first fly point. And we crash. Hop out and disappears in a nice position. So yeah, it's a big big, big questionable. Look. I think they could have made that a little bit more smooth, but you know, that could be just a beta issue. There's a lot of things like that with this uh, with the game. Uh, this is the first quest area. I'm gonna just quickly skip the chat because I don't want to spoil too much for viewers. I just want to give you an idea what the game is going to be like to play it. Now we're back. Okay. Generally, yes, there is spoilers in this game, but you know, I'm not gonna give away all of the cutscenes in chat because I think that is the strongest point this game has. It's probably the best aspect about this game. The voice acting, the the quest animations, the chat, and the interaction with that is absolutely amazing. And that's that's something that makes this stand out from the rest. Even though the graphics, gameplay, you know, even combat might all seem the same. Uh, no. I'm just gonna... Having a bit of latency here, but this is probably because I'm running craps as well as, you know, high graphics. And my PC is shit. So yeah, this this is this is probably the first grope I have with the game. Now there are this this particular quest is just I have to go around and save save Padawans or something. Won't let me access that. Alright, let me just As you can see the animation is quite smooth. I can run up pretty much. The auto attack doesn't quite work. Well, or it, as you can see, look, this this is the auto attack. It's a it's a blocking function. So if you're I think there's a tactic based around that, but pretty much you have to select the character or the the NPC again to hit them. So you know, then die. And every now and again one has has loot. But not in this case it would seem. But yeah, anyway, the first quest, like I said, is a bit of an issue for me. I'm just gonna run ahead here. Now you can see these boxes up ahead that I'm I'm aiming for. The problem with these quests is as the first quest you ever play, it's it's one of those respawn things. Now I have to, you know, get these guys out of out of the cage. And what'll happen is these will all respawn, these these ads, before the next guy in the cage respawns. Now all these can just run up while I'm fighting and take this guy and run out. You know, it's one of those mechanics that was in WoW that was extremely, well, extremely frustrating at the time. Uh, and it seems they're just taking over here. I don't know why they felt the need to do that. So I'm gonna just start fighting all of these and just see if I can hopefully catch the loot. Now I have my force power down in the bar. Um, it allows me to use a little bit more of an impressive attack. And here we go, here's our loot. Pretty simple. Credits and your grey items of average. So this guy still hasn't respawned. So I tell you what, just to prove the point, I'm gonna skip ahead and I'm gonna find someone and I'm actually gonna take this guy's item. Now, this this is probably a bit of a dick move, but I can walk up and take that. Oh no, he managed to get there before me. But it's 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 one of those issues in the game where you, you don't want to have people being able to do that. And I think it's it's a it's a very bad idea. Now I'll move on. Uh, the next area I'd like to cover is just, just quickly the character screen, the infir inventory, because I don't think these are, are looked at quite often. Um, the character screen is quite nice. You have earrings, implants, two implants that you can insert into your character. And then you have your wrists, uh, two relic items, which, you know, in WoW terms would be your trinket. Your waist, hands, legs, boots, and chest and head. And then your your main weapon. Now, I don't see a second slot, but this is probably just class related. Um, as I think you, you don't dual wield. I'm not sure, actually. I'm, I'm a bit surprised now there's not a second class for this, because I thought dual wielding was an option uh, to be able to have two lightsabers. Hmm. Could be wrong. Maybe it's only the double-handed lightsaber. So we shall see. But yeah, anyway, moving on. We have uh, our light and dark side, which is done due by quests. Generally, what you do is you have the option in some quests later on to choose a light or dark side option. Um, I have a mission now that I'm on, which is part of my quest story. And, you know, you have the choice by the end of the mission to either be good or bad in your actual answer. And you know, these have a different effects and I quite like that aspect of the game. 
so far all in all it's been a little bit of a grind as usual um I was hoping to see a little bit more, but the, the interaction between the quests and the characters and the chat and and things like that is actually is actually something that that makes this game feel superior to the others, uh, and I quite like that. I quite like that a lot. Anyway, moving on. The next point I want to cover is just the leveling leveling system. Uh, I don't have as much knowledge on it as I'd like. <laughs> Someone made a fatty. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just gonna hand in a quest quickly, and that should level me. Yeah. Okay. So we reach level three. And you know, it, it's very similar to WoW. You, as you level, you go to your trainer, you pick up some new abilities. Using so a lightsaber is just as much science as art. Four sleep and four sweep, which is an AOE and a ranged charge. So we can speak. spar any time. Which is quite nice. Now, I haven't gone into heavy detail on the key bindings yet, so obviously there is quite a lot of options there. Let me just quickly show you. So you have key bindings. Now, as you can see, you have your targeting movement now. You can set quite a lot of stuff, quick slot movement. Now this would obviously be important, to, especially for PvPers, which is something I am looking forward to in this game. So I'm definitely be playing it on just to get up uh, up to the PvP scale, uh, so I can kick that off. But yeah, it the interface is quite nice. Uh, it's very simplified. Uh, you can have your target coming up here. You can see whether or not they are elite or such and such. You have a nice little map now. I'd like to be able to move around some of the user interface, but I don't think it's actually a preference. I know some MMOs have it, but I think they're following kind of very similar to the lines of WoW, where, you know, I, I maybe they will allow a mod, I don't know. They'd be stupid not to, in my opinion. Especially when it comes to damage meters and stuff like that later. All in all, guys, based on the last few hours, or five or s four or five hours that I have played the game, it is definitely by far the best beta I have ever played. I mean, in, in regards to general bugs and glitches and things, for, for a starting area based on that alone, I, I haven't really seen anything major that would be game breaking, not like quite a lot of MMOs I have played the beta in. Overall, this game is, is shaping up and it's, it's looking really, really good. It's beautifully designed, there's lots of... Uh, Really nice interfaces. I mean, even even the map is is quite pretty, you know. And you have all the the options. You can see where your taxis and things like that are. This, I ha I have no real complaints. Uh, what else? I suppose, is it better than WoW? Would probably be the best the best question. Considering, I mean, if it's going to compare it to any game, it has to compare it to WoW really as an MMO. I'm I'm gonna say based on just this time alone, yes. I mean. The quest, it's its like they took everything good about WoW. The fluidity of the combat, the, the movement, the general attacks and powers, the access of them, the, their, how they look when you execute moves is, is super impressive. It's, it's really, 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 really enjoyable, you know. Yeah, what else could I compare it to? I guess I could say, you know, do I have lightsabers? Yes. And can I do a jump attack off the side of a hill with said lightsaber? Yes. Yes, I can. Anyway, calling it there. I am going to close it off for the for this episode. Guys, please be sure to like, subscribe if you enjoyed this. I have a few more videos up and what I will do is I will make some more of Star Wars in the future when I have a bit more knowledge and experience in it. I'm going to try to hit the area and record some PvP stuff if it works out well. Granted, I'll be putting my machine under a bit of strain, so we'll, we'll see how it turns out. But if I can, I'll get some PvP update. And of course, if you have any comments, if there's any requests or information you'd like to hear from the game, just uh, just post obviously in the comments below or you can send me an email. Uh, the link is in my channel. So thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.